What is up with it to the stream? How we are, are you here. doing? We are the better doing phenomenally. I hope so. How are I'm you doing? Do I'm doing great. I'm doing great. It's been a somewhat interesting chaotic morning because, uh, um, so I'm in top eight. Yes, you are. Uh, so I am not. Right. Despite my spectacular play. Hey, I thought you did all right. Uh, Bobby Scar Newman kind of semi-retired right now. Semi-retired, retired. I don't know. Why, I don't know what the status is. He actually came all the way out to beautiful Sacramento for That's right. NorCal Regionals 2015. That's right. And decided to enter actually uh, after some I don't know peer pressure. Peer pressure. Atria told me that I'm not peer Grandmasters. If if Melee is Starcraft, that I'm I'm not GM. I was so mad. But anyway, welcome to NCR 2015. This is Super Smash Brothers Melee Top Eight, where we have eight phenomenal NorCal players. Yeah. In this bracket, including Toaf on the loser side. That's right. Will you take us through the winner side and the loser side? I know that the first match is going to be Meliod Ami's S Fat versus Laudandis. That's right. The uh, Sheik main. Meliod Ami's S Fat versus Laudandis. S Fat uh, coming through uh, to the winner side, defeating Silent Spectre and I believe Alan. Sounds right, yeah. Yep. And Laudandis. Uh, Laudandis kind of being so in NorCal, we have S Fat and we have also. He beat Homemade Waffles. Right, he beat Homemade Waffles. We're going to get through waffles. eight people. Right, so I got my way of doing it. You got your way of doing it. You're right. You're Shroomed right, so. and Pupiu, who are the other match in top eight winner side, yeah. uh, form kind of NorCal's elite top three with uh, along with Sfat himself. Yeah. Right below that is kind of like the Laudandis homemade waffles tier, uh, and they fought uh, to, to to make it in top eight. Now yes. Laudandis won, so homemade waffles is in losers. So winners again is Sfat versus Laudandis and Shroom versus Pupiu. Yep. Homemade Waffles is facing off against Silent Spectre and Losers. Which will be an amazing match. That will be really exciting. Two really aggressive players. And Tov, who are you going to be facing off against? And I have Azusa. Very uh, how you very solid about, Peach Man. How are you um, feeling about you versus Azusa? We have like a little mini rivalry. Uh, because Just because we play like every tournament. Mm -hmm. And I, didn't I don't know, know who's up in sets right now. Like He won the last time. I won the time before that. So we go back and forth. I have no idea. I'm, I'm comfortable with it though. I mean, we play a lot. So... You know. Good luck, man. Thank you. Uh, First match is going to be S Fat versus Ladanis. You can see them right this very moment. S Fat looking focused. <laughs> yeah. Ladanis is. Ladanis. Ladanis looking like he's having a. a, a fun, somewhat fun disgusted level. with these Yoshi Dittos on Yoshi's story. Yeah. He's having a good time. You know, I really dislike playing Yoshi. Against or as? As. As, yeah. It's it's weird. It's real tough. It's hard. You know why? Is you can't jump out of your shield. You can't jump out of your shield. It's tough. You can't up B back to the stage. It's tough. There's a lot of things Yoshi does differently than other characters. Are we going All right, right into it? Here it is. Game one of NCR's top eight. Svet as Fox versus Laudanus' as Sheik. Now, Sheik, you know, this is... Uh, right. Laudanus doesn't want to miss those, those tech chases no, when he gets he a grab. He can actually, you know... Basically, kill Fox off for grab if he can react. Oh, but predict. putting on so much damage with those lasers. Yeah, and that's what Fox needs to do. Kind of stay away, you know, pick his spots, rack up the damage. Uh, Ladan is very well known for uh, for his tech chase ability, wouldn't you say? He's really stepped his punish game on like Fox and Falco mm -hmm. up a lot, and uh, yeah, it's it's bad news getting grabbed by him usually. Yeah, very clean first stock. Yes. And his edge guards uh, are, are really good too. He's good at uh, using the, the down smash in situations like that to cover the side B. Yeah. Kind of a flub with the chain there. Usually you don't see a. Yeah, but you know what? Sheik doesn't get punished that hard for chain. Ooh! Not that hard, no. I like that conversion into up smash. Had yeah. to be in DI for that to work out. S Fat recognizing it, taking advantage. Yeah, very clean. Ooh, nice from You S know what I love? When top players get, uh, get thrown on platforms or whatever, Ooh. and they don't tech. And they don't like fall all the way off the platform. They touch the platform and then slide off. Right. And that basically like cancels your tumble animation. You don't have like a tech or a recovery or a get up. And you're not stunned either. It takes you right out of hit stun. Yeah. Yeah. You have to be. You basically edge cancel your tumble. Yeah. You should and always look for that when t when top players get hit on a platform. Uh, if possible, almost they will always, go for that, yeah. yeah. It's a really good. Uh, Ooh. Really good don't get hurt option. Yeah, definitely. Okay, Svet missing the punish directly, but he kind of got a grab anyway and yeah. and uh, up through up air. Probably one of those moments where you know that like if you just kind of if you force it, it's not going to work out. So he took it a little bit slow, right? He walked behind him, saw that Landis was staying in his shield, yeah, and said, "All right, so that was good. I'm going to up throw you and up air you." Mm -hmm. So like you said, flub the punish, but uh, but made it happen. Yeah, that's what it's all about. It is. Ooh, wow! That, that was a super hard wow. read. Super hard read on that double jump away from Landis. Yeah, that was really crazy. 
once you uh, have Sheik off the stage like that to get that shine spike, because she has a pretty good recovery with her double, uh, her up, her double jump and her up B, you have to make a pretty fat read to get a kill like that, mm -hmm. especially at a low percent. Yeah, and uh, since he caught him out of his double jump, you're sitting there double jumpless. Yeah, which is huge. Yes. Oh, another bad spot for Ladandis. Nice. That's what you generally want to do when you get hit with, by moves like Sheik's forward air. You mm -hmm. want to hold down so you kind of slide across the stage. Mm -hmm. Uh, and sometimes you can tech it. Yep. Uh, but in that situation, Esfat missed the tech, so he got KO'd anyway. But he had the right idea. The right idea. All right, another. This should probably be a pretty easy edge guard. Okay. Oh, but Ladan just tricks him. Esfat actually, really a nice conversion there. It looked like he wasn't going to catch the tech in for. Ooh! Solid. Ooh! The forward smash. Uh, the forward smash hurts so bad. Yeah, that's really strong versus Sheik because there's kind of a little mix-up game that happens at the corner where Sheik's trying to recover and she's like, okay, well, if I'm f I'm Fox, right, I'm edge guarding her, I want to go like off the stage and maybe hit her, mm -hmm. shine spike her. Mm -hmm. So Sheik says, okay, Fox is going to come and shine spike me. I'm going to do an aerial, like a forward air mm -hmm. or an up air, and stop him from doing that. So if you read that and you're one, you know, one level, step ahead. you're one step ahead, then you can just throw out the forward smash and they jump right into it. So it's 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 that's a that's a you know that's a little 50-50 that you could set up. Yeah. Oh, I think he was styling there. He just did the backflip to style. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Or or he didn't need to. One of the. Ooh, that's good. That's what you're talking about. Either yeah. you set up that versus the F smush. Yeah, the F smush. Yeah, F or or ba like some move that she should jump into. Oh, that's oh. big. But S fat. That oh. hurts. Really uh, good stuff by Esfad to not immediately up B because then you're just trapped under Battlefield. Yeah. Uh, he basically did the best that he could with the situation, but yeah, he was already uh, yeah Battlefield already buried. Right. Battlefield, of course, you know, it's the only stage in the game where uh, there is no, like, wall or anything. There's just, like, a flat, you know, little floor that you can get stuck under. So yeah. if you're under there, it's, it's pretty bad because you don't have any uh, real choices. One other thing that I wanted to point out, you saw uh, Esfad basically just uh, ledge hogged Ladandis in the last stock. She, uh, when she when she upbees uh, towards the ledge, she kind of hangs there for a little bit. And so, if you get up or like let go of the ledge too quickly, she'll just grab the ledge. So uh, sometimes you'll notice like other players edge guarding Sheik, and she just makes it back, and it's weird. It seems like she should have been edge guarded, but right. Uh, Esfat taking his time, and making sure that he has the ledge long enough. Yeah, it's a tricky recovery sometimes. I think he back here. Not the way he wanted to there, but that was a really nice shine spike, catching him out of the uh, recovery. It's really tricky, because you don't know if he's going to grab the ledge or if he's going to go for you. Exactly. Okay. Okay. I'll smash the shine. Interesting. Ladanus on the ledge again. Nice. Oh, Esfat wow. shooting some lasers. Esfat's just kind of working the neutral game a little better than Ladanus is mm -hmm. right now. That's usually the story with uh, NorCal top three versus non-top three, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just have extremely strong neutral games. I think Esved in particular, I think his neutral game is his strongest suit. Mm -hmm. um, Ooh! Ooh! Nice. Ladandis, not let it go. Yeah, that should be a very easy edge guard. This is a last stock match. Yep. Looking way closer than the last one. Yeah. Ran it back on Battlefield. Oh, oh but is that going to be it? Ladandis enters the loser's bracket. Yeah, he just kind of... I don't know, I think he kind of put himself in a bad spot between the stocks there. And then he... Uh, I don't think, I don't know, I, I think he could have varied his recovery a little better. I think yeah. Esfat had been going for those shine spikes. He did. Uh, Ladandis was shine spiked many a time in that set.